Hello, ladies and gentlemen. So, this is not a AG Stasis career mode video. This is not an AG Stasis career mode video. This is a tutorial video. I'm going to show you how to make a face cam, add a face cam to your videos using Adobe Premiere Pro CS6. That's the video editor that I use. So, what you're going to do first is go to File, go to Import, and import the footage that you want to use as your face cam, and then, of course, the original clip too. So, Right now, I'm just not using my clip. I'm just gonna show you that as this is a tutorial, I'm just using one random clip that I had for my, you know, uh, previous episodes of AJ Stasis Career Mode. So, it's like a very, very, um, very, um, uh, so it's, it's like for like um, this clip, this is the Bray Wyatt clip. And I use this clip for um, um, for the rivalry which was going on between AJ Styles and Bray Wyatt. It was around a episode 40 or something. Oh no, I really don't know. <coughs> <coughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, let me just get this straight. What you gotta do is you gotta uh, click on this clip, click and uh, click on this and uh, on this clip. Hold this drag it to the timeline and make sure that this clip which you want to use as your uh, face cam should be above your or original clip on which you need a face cam understanding you understand that so for example um age styles is clip age styles is career mode clip this is the thing this is the clip where i want to use uh okay a, a face cam on okay and bray wide clip is this uh, clip which I'm going to use as my face cam. So, the face cam clip should be over the original clip. That's just, you know, summing up the whole thing in short. So, there are two ways to do it. So, first way is, you gotta, you know, this clip is like covering up the whole space right now. So, what you gotta do is, double click on this clip. You can see these dimensions. Now, I think many of you might be knowing how to do it, but still, I, I, I'm going to show you that. You can just, you know, lower this whole screen up and then you can just move this all over the round, all over the place, where you want to, wherever you want to play this, place this uh, clip. So generally what people do is that they um, put their face cam clips right on the top right corner, near the top right corner or just on the top right corner. So that is one way to do it. The other way is, wait, wait. Let me just delete this. I'm going to take it back up like it was. That was the first step. It's a um, common step between the two steps. So, the second step is go to... The um, second step is you again drag it to the timeline. You select this clip. And now you see all these... Okay, let me show this again. Now, right now, look at this effect control in the motion tab. Look at this. Effect controls. There's nothing here. That's the workspace, and there's nothing. No clip selected. It says no clip selected. You gotta, you gotta select this clip, and now you see various other things. So, you gotta select on motion, and then what you gotta do is for lowering. Sometimes this uniform scale is selected, is checked. This box in the uniform scale is checked. You, what you gotta do is uncheck this first of all. Now. That's how you can change the height, and that is how you can change the width. Uh, let me see. That's still not uh, particular for the, you know, face cam video. I think that's good. That's good enough. Okay. So, that is how you change the dimensions of the video. Okay. Now, two ways to move the clip too. There are two ways to move the clip. First one was like this one. Double click and then moving it all around the place. Second one is again selecting the clip. And then second one is moving through these. You see this position? Position under the motion tab. Position tab under the motion tab. What you're going to do is these are the x-axis and that's the y-axis. So if you drag it right, you select it on the x-axis and dra drag it towards the right. It moves your clip towards the right hand area. and then. You uh, drag this towards the left. It moves your 
it was the left hand area okay now let me get this here where you need to be talk about in, talking about a y axis right now that is like a 305.2 that's 305.2 right now if you drag this towards right it will lower down the screen and if you uh, drag it towards the left it'll move the screen upwards it'll move the clip upwards i prefer to use this thing because you don't need to worry about that and that's i mean that's kind of thing that is specific to the area to where you want to place the skip the clip i mean i'm sorry i use this one so that i uh, do not worry about all that x axis and y axis and i can just place this clip, uh, clip wherever i want to wherever i want to okay so that's how i do it and then um about changing the dimensions of the video I prefer using the scale height and width under, under the motion tab because it's like more uniform and if you do it like double click if you use it doing like this and double click and all that stuff it doesn't really show you the way to do it you know it it is all uniform it'll be like a square it'll be in a perfect ratio all the time so that's how you can do it I prefer you know just mixing up both the ways both the um, ways to do it like I change the scale dimensions using this scale height and scale width and then I position my clips uh, by just dragging it somewhere where I want to like somewhere times here sometimes here so generally a face cam is always placed near the corners that's it that is like the main law of making a face cam thank you guys that yeah this talking about this right now this thing this is the AJ Styles Discovery mode. The episode is ready. I just gotta place my clip on it. It's episode 55. I just gonna I just gotta place my own um, face cam on it, and then um, or and everything else is done. I am yet to record my own face cam video, and then I just gotta place it um, on this um, uh, on on the timeline and just yeah, just uh, as I showed you. So guys, now I want to talk a little bit about the previous episode that is 54. It's just been a day or a day and a half since I uploaded that episode and thank you for all your support. That episode has got more than 50 views, I know. That's still a lot for me. That's the AJ Stasis Kevin Mode episode that has, got, that has got the most views ever. So, it means a lot to, a lot to me. Thank you guys for giving that much support to the series now. It has it has started starting to grow up. It is starting to grow up. 55 views on one video on one episode of AJ Styles Discovery Mode. Never it has never happened. None of the AJ Styles Discovery Mode video has crossed 50 50 views. Thank you for all the support and just wait for it. This was the tutorial and thank you for watching.